It's that time. Welcome to another episode of Ezzy Spotlight Podcast. Let's get started. Showcasing the hidden gems and more. Ezzy Spotlight. Very informative and entertaining. So what's up, guys? Welcome back to another edition of the Ezzy Spotlight Podcast, the Hidden Gem Series. And I'm super excited to be here because, you know, I'm, well, you know, I'm always excited to be here, as a matter of fact, because I'm showcasing the hidden gems. What is the hidden gems? Great people in our communities who got great brands. We know about it, but it's not all theirs yet. You know what I'm saying? And the goal here at the Ezzy Spotlight Podcast, the Hidden Gem Series, is to put these people out there because we create flyers, we create videos to tell our stories and to promote our brands and our products and all of the good stuff. But one thing we don't do well enough is talk about it ourselves, talk about the journeys. What got us to where we are today? What got us started in the first place? So welcome to the Ezzy Spotlight Podcast to Lady Mars Boss. How are you doing today? I am well. How are you? Got a round of applause for you. (laughs) (laughs) And the audience says, yay. I love it. Welcome to the studio. Thanks. Thanks for having me. How you feel? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. It's a beautiful studio. Thanks for having me. Still a bit closer to the microphone for me. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, there we go. You could, yeah, and works. if you want to, if you want to just bring the microphone closer okay. this way, so that way, you, as go. you face me, yep. you can see that. That's fine. Yep. So I'm happy that you're here because again, I I know you've been doing so much in the community. I've watched you from since you got started in the business and what the business is about, guys. I'm gonna tell you about it. But um, y- you've done a lot, and you're still doing a lot, but you still have a lot more to go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know. So first of all, tell everyone who is Lady Mars Boss. Your real well, name and all the good stuff. Yes. My name is Yolande Horn Payne, aka Lady Moss Boss. Um been around as Lady Moss Boss for about three years, give or take. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, coming from a corporate background. Right. Um, thirty seven years in corporate America and um three years ago I decided to take that double leap because I've always had one foot in one foot out right you know um it's a hard decision yes. to make it's <laughs> yes. a scary decision to be made. it is yeah very much so very much so mm-hmm. but the decision was made for me um my, my corporate job said hey we no longer need your services I was in the space of working with my brand and you know sharing healthy stuff with my folks and friends and right I literally jumped both feet in and Three years later, here we are. So they kind of forced you mm-hmm. into making that decision. Absolutely. Wow. Yep. Wow. This is this is this is an incredible one because <laughs> once again, guys, when you are working for someone and you know you have that steady flow of income, uh, it is not easy to just walk away. And sometimes when you take when you when you're about to make that decision to take that leap of faith into your own brand, it can be very scary. And a lot of people have done this and they failed, mm-hmm. and they have to retract. You retract all the steps. So tell us about tell, tell us about what happened after that. So I um, I had friends who sort of believed in me. You know, I made my CMOS products, right? I, I've been making them and sharing with them. And, you know, they kept saying, hey, you can do this. This, this is a business. You can do this. I've mm-hmm. seen you. I've seen you do other things, you know. And I've always been in the multi-level marketing space. Right. Uh, so it's not really, I mean, it's a whole different animal. Mm-hmm. A whole different animal. Yep. Um, you know, I mean, you're talking about I have to create the brand, create the product, you know, brand the product, you know, sell the product, mm-hmm. you know, do the accounting, get the taxes. Just I am every everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wear all you, the hats. You are yeah. the CEO yeah. to yeah. the janitor. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. And so it was a little scary, you know, doing it. And I kept, you know, questioning myself. But the, the thing that I had in the back of my head was that. I am not going back to corporate America. I was done. I was totally done. <laughs> <laughs> and here you are today. Here I am today. How does it feel? It feels amazing. Still scary. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, so, I mean, you want me to be candid, right? I Absolutely. mean, and I'm going to just Absolutely. tell the people as it is. Right. It, it's not like, you know, there's some days, yes, I fly and I feel great and mm-hmm. you know I affect a lot of people but there's some days when I think oh my word you know I have to eat 
Right. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. I got to bring business in, mm-hmm. you know. I can't lay in bed. So my 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 routine and habits are the same as corporate America. I treat my business as it is a Fortune 500 company. Absolutely. You, you have know? to do so I do the same things that I did for my Fortune 500 company that I worked for. I've same always exactly. I've so. always done the very same thing, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Even if I still work for corporate, uh, but when I'm doing my business, I feel like I have to get dressed, I have to do this, I have to be, you know, the same level of consistency exactly. and professionalism exactly. is exactly what I use in my own brand as exactly. well. Yeah. And a lot of people don't understand that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So kudos to you on that one as well. Thank you. Get another round of applause. (laughs) (laughs) I tell you, I'm getting a lot of round of applause. I kind of like that. You know, it's part of my love language. So I like that. It's it's part of being, it's part of the experience of being on the AZ Spotlight podcast, right? All right. So, so let's talk about this because we know uh, your brand is a unique one. Yes. It's a very special one because I remember growing up in the Caribbean as well. Of course, for those of you who are watching right now, I am Grenadian by birth, okay? Yes, I'm here now, but I'm Grenadian. And I used to always love that thing called CMOS. I used to just love the yes. CMOS. You just give me that creamy, nice yes. CMOS with the ice. Yes, yes. And here you are right now. This is a this is a brand. This is an industry that is taken off by Storm. Yeah is huge everywhere right now and you are part of this you're part of this whole movement here in atlanta absolutely and we haven't scratched the surface absolutely i did some you know some research to see where we are you know and even just in me going out and talking to people and being at different events and festivals i I would say you know maybe six out of ten you know about cmos Right. You know, so it's still untouched. It's still you untouched. Know, it's still and untouched. and it has so much value to it, yes. right? Yes. So so tell me, so Lady Mars Boss, uh, you call yourself that. How did that name come about? First of all. <laughs> we um so <laughs> I was working with a, a, a graphic designer, um, mm-hmm. you know, one of my in my early stages and um we were looking for, you know, I I've always been a boss. Mm-hmm. You know, but I worked in corporate. I was a boss. I, right. You know, I was born this way. I, <laughs> you know, I can't help it. <laughs> there we go again. You know, I really can't help it. And right. so we were looking for, you know, for, for something catchy. And we were playing and he, you know, he sent me a drawing and, you know, he did like a cartoon type person. And, and I'm like, hey, well, that person isn't me, but you know, somehow we we were looking for names, right. and you know, we needed something that sticks, some, something that would stick, something that would um, that's not used. And you know, there were a couple of bosses and different names, and and so you know, he kept saying, well, you know, you're the expert on this stuff, you're right. the boss at this stuff, right? You know? um, but when we looked, there was. Moss Boss, and you know, and and so I said, okay, well, I need to own this name somehow. Okay, and so we just put Lady, Lady in, Moss in, in, in front, front of, of it, it, you know, and you know, it's 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 caught on. So did you, you know? did, did you want to create a brand that is surrounded by CMOS, or how how did CMOS become a part of this whole initiative? So I've I've I had another business, and uh-huh. and so the, my umbrella business is Yoli's Meal Prep LLC. Okay, That's okay. My umbrella so you're pre- okay, all right. And so prior to COVID, um, I would go to people's homes. You know, I, I I'm a busy mom. Mm-hmm. I have three boys, and they um, were all athletes. Right. So we're on the road a lot, know, a lot, a lot. You know, <laughs> and so I really, you know, I learned how to make thirty minute meals mm-hmm. and prepare ahead of time. Mm-hmm. And still feed my family without going through the McDonald's line. You gotta come to my house. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could do that. I could help you out there. I could definitely help you out there. And so, um, you know, I started that business um, teaching women. So every Sunday, it would either be my house, my kitchen. The ladies would come. I'd send them the recipe, send them the shopping list. They would come, and you know, I'd show them how to package and you know how to freeze. And you know, okay, COVID happened, right? We couldn't do that anymore. Right. So that business, you know, sort yeah, of died. Yeah, it, it collapsed, right. And then, um, so I said, well, I still want to keep that, mm-hmm. you know, because I, I could turn that in another way. Right. And so we got Lady Moss Boss, you know, doing business as under Yoli's Meal Prep. You know, so Yoli's Meal Prep is my, you know, is the, is is the a, main is a, company. It's a parent company. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And Lady Moss Boss is a mm-hmm. sub, sub, subsidiary of, of, of the company. And so we started, I started off with gels. Just making gels right. because, you know, we were in the height of COVID. This this, this is a COVID baby. Mm-hmm. You know, this business is a COVID. It was birthed out of COVID. Right. And uh, started out just making gels. Um, and, 
you know, quickly realize, you know, we're playing with ideas. And because I play in the kitchen, I love to cook. Okay. You know, my friends would always say, you know, you should cater. You know, I I love to do that, but it's just a labor of love for my friends and family. Gotcha. It's just I don't see me doing that as a, as a business, business, you know, yeah, per se. I could relate to that. And so... Um, I play with flavors, you okay. know, so uh, friends, again, you know, kept encouraging me, well, you know, you do this and you do that and you play with flavors and, mm -hmm. you know, how about, you know, I made a drink and, you know, tested it out for people, to, you know, and they're like, well, how about doing this as well? And so, you know, because I have a, a you know, a, a um, board of directors, if you will, mm -hmm. you know, behind the scenes okay. that I ah. throw things out ah. to, okay. you know, okay. and so, um, you know, I, I just can't fly by the seat of my pants you know what i mean i just i, I need to have a sounding board to to kind of we, like, we do you know, we, yes. we we really do yeah. as amazing as great as our brand may be mm -hmm. um having that second set of eyes yes. the second opinion um really is invaluable yes. so to speak yes. you know what i'm saying Absolutely. because we may like what we like but you know sometimes a lot of times i do stuff and you know ask my family to come and say hey what do you think about this mm -hmm. you know i see it looks good mm -hmm. but again when you're in it you probably you don't, don't see the no, real thing, no. you, know, you know. They so the fresh eyes fresh coming eyes, in, exactly, exactly. You know, so we ended up, you know, my pineapple ginger. All of these recipes, as a matter of fact, all the drinks that I have on my line are recipes that my grandmother did. So you okay. know, I, I grew up with my grandmother partially. Um, didn't know it before, but. My grandmother was an entrepreneur. I mean, we didn't know right. the name for it, right? But, but, she, but she, 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 right. she, look in hindsight, she did everything. It's everything, she made, exactly. She was always in the kitchen. She always made something to sell. How, how, did you, how did you select, of all the products that are out there, how did you select CMOS to become part of your brand? Because I saw that it was a need. So again, you know, I was making about 20 bottles for different friends. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they knew that I'm West Indian. They knew that I'm familiar with sea moss right. and I use sea moss as part of my my family's diet and mm -hmm. you know COVID happened and we realized that you know it has a lot of properties that it helps right. build your immune system absolutely and so that was the buzz and that was ah. the hype and then you know and, and I kept looking I did some research look at some other folks who were in the sea moss world and again with the encouragement of my board they're like well, you could do this. You were the expert on this. Mm -hmm. You know, these folks don't know anything about CMOS. Right. They don't, you know. And then I kept saying, yeah, you know, I do. I have more information than most people do, right. you know, about CMOS. And so really that's how it was born, you know. Um, it really is to help people um, build their immune system. And I've always played in the area of health and wellness. Okay. You know, okay. Either health Which and is beauty, great. health and wellness. Uh -huh. So I did it for myself and my family. My When my kids were born, when I was, you know, pregnant with my kids, mm -hmm. I was never the one to take those Regular iron stuff. pills right. or whatever. I had a whole natural stuff, natural stuff that I took. Yeah. Took it to my doctor <laughs> and they would say, hey, you know, take this, take it, just to make sure that, I, you know, that, that sometimes herbs don't work well together, mm -hmm. you know, and to make sure my doctor knew what I was taking. taking so it right. All of my physicians know that I am into homeopathic remedies. So, 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 so Lady, uh, Lady Mars Boss is here now. Um, Yoli's uh, Meal Prep, of course, the parent company. And once again, guys, if you're just watching us, this is our Hidden Gem series, the Ezzy Spotlight Podcast with this very special lady. As you can tell, we got samples of the products here in the studio. Um, you, you've created this whole flavor thing that you touched, you just talked about. It, it's not the traditional sea moss with no. the milk, the no. flavored milk and the white creamy yeah. stuff. And so I, I do that as well. You do that as well. I do that as this, well. That's still yeah. my favorite yeah. though. Yeah. <laughs> I do it as well. It's made to order. Right. Because somehow that product just didn't jump off. I mean, I started it off. It didn't? It didn't jump I, off. It jumps off in the Caribbean community. Okay. When I do a Caribbean festival, right. you know, people ask for it. But, you That's know, strange. in general, somehow because it just it's so didn't tasty. jump off. You know? So here's the thing. Here's the thing why we think it's tasty, right? Oh, okay. So, um... It's made with evaporated milk, mm -hmm. condensed milk. Yes. So it's sugar, 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 <laughs> and more sugar. <laughs> I like sugar. I like the sweet stuff. <laughs> but I have changed that. <laughs> you know, and it still is. It still is very tasty. Okay. Um, again, in the name of health. Right. right? I, um, I changed it to oat milk. Uh -huh. I do throw some juiced carrots in there. Okay. Well, this I is all do, good stuff still, yes, right? Yes, it's still all good stuff. Right. You know, so the sweetener is... 
date paste. Okay. So I, I and so I, it's everything not I do, as sweet. It, it's not as sweet. Right. But it still has that that good punch. It still has the, the good, good flavor. Flavor. Mm-hmm. It's still you know of course you put your nutmeg and your right. cinnamon the and things spices. like that. So it 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 gives it the flavor. That. It just right. isn't packed with sugar because again. So maybe I need to become an ambassador to to let them em- embrace because you know what like this this is what I was raised on you know yeah, what I'm saying so yeah. it's, it's part of me as a matter of fact I'm, I I need some right now so I have to place an order yes, <laughs> but in yes, the meantime yeah, yeah. but so but the, the other flavors that you created uh, uh, we we know that uh, people are very gravitating to yes. that yes why yes. do you think it's so different from the original that we used to so the other flavors are. Um, Pineapple ginger, which is my number one seller. This is, is, is here, it's right? It's the yellow. Yes. The yellow one. Mm-hmm. That's this one here, right? Correct. Uh-huh. And then uh, a unique flavor, it's lavender citrus. It's a lemonade. So, again, I went on all those flavors that we played with in the Caribbean, right? We always have lime and lemon trees in the yard. Absolutely. And we in the go, backyard, yeah, yep. they say, go pick some limes and lemon. We make some some, some lemonade, juice. Mm-hmm. make some juice, exactly. right? And so that's exactly what I did here, but I added another flavor. I love lavender. Uh-huh. So the lavender citrus is more for your mental clarity. And everything that I create, I it has to do something with health. Say that one more time, mental clarity. Yes. <laughs> How many of you guys knew that? <laughs> I, this is so, <laughs> I'm just learning this right now. Yeah. So, all it, so it actually helps with real mental real health mental, issues? Yeah. So, so it really helps you think clearly. You okay. Know, so it, it's not totally mental. mental health, and right. let me preface this by saying, guys, uh-huh. I'm not a nurse or a doctor. Right. So everything you hear here today is is for informational, educational purposes. Only. I have to do my disclaimer. <laughs> okay. There you go. So, there you go. <laughs> um, but the 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 mental clarity part is, you know, lavender helps you soothe. Mm. You know, so if you're if you get home and you, you know, or you're uptight or you are, you know, you're having a little anxiety, mm-hmm. you know, lavender helps calm you. Right. Down. You know, it has okay. those properties for that. Okay. You know, in the lavender drink is also um, butterfly PT, which has tons of antioxidants in there. Oh, really? You know, so it also helps you, you know, just be calm, you know. Um, the, the pineapple ginger um, it's more for your gut health. Right. You know, because, again, it helps with your immune system. Mm-hmm. Um, the pineapples help remove mucus from the body. Sea mm-hmm. moss helps remove the mucus from the body. Right. And ginger helps with digestion. So, in other words, I need to be drinking sea moss every day. Every day. Every day. <laughs> there you go. Every day. Every day. Yeah. You, know. you should be drinking sea moss every day. You know, <laughs> don't wait until <clears throat> fall and, you know, you hear the commercials about... Um, you know, getting your flu shots and right. doing all of that. Prepare now. Prepare now. Prepare now. Get your immune system built. Right. Um, the best way to consume sea moss really is by taking the gel. That is the best way. You know. How do you use the gel? So the gel is pure, and the way I make it, I mean, mm-hmm. different vendors do things very differently. Right. I like to keep things almost in this all natural state, mm-hmm. and um, the sea moss gel is. Unflavored. Okay. Um, you scoop two tablespoons. The daily required intake is two to four tablespoons. Mm-hmm. So the best way, don't eat it like you're eating applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to warn you ahead of time. <laughs> you, you already read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> you, li- you literally have to chug it, <laughs> you know. Okay. So you get a couple of spoons, you, you know, two tablespoons, you throw it to the back of your throat, and you swallow now, if that, some people have texture issues. Right. And that's why I also created the beverages. So you're not getting the required daily intake with the beverages, but it's a better alternative than going to the supermarket where you have something that have preservatives. Nothing I do have preservatives, you know. Right. There's a lifespan. There's a lifespan know? on So it. Um, my beverages last about <clears throat> 20 days. Um, the gels last about five weeks, you know. Oh, so after, tw- so after 20 days, I can't drink this. Yeah, but after, it, it won't stay 20 days in your refrigerator. You'll drink it before 20 days. I but, promise you. But still. <laughs> I promise I'm just, you. I'm just messing yeah, with you. you know, I promise you it never stays, you know. I mean, I have a repeat customer base that comes right. in everywhere I go. They follow me everywhere I go mm-hmm. and they replenish. Okay. Every week. Right. You know, literally every week. You know, and you re- and, you, and like you said they recommend the uh, the gel. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the mm-hmm. gel. Okay. So I've never I never sampled the gel. I've yeah. tasted the drinks. Yeah. So next thing I gotta get from you know is the gel. It's the gel. And so the gel now can go in anything and everything. Okay. So, so you can put it in, in your food, in you your can food, put it in your fl- you in know, your tea. In your tea, everything. Your coffee, your right. smoothies. Okay. You know. Or you can I just stick it straight up as well. Straight up. You know, the straight gel up. on the rocks. Gel, there you go. <laughs> 
<laughs> Once again, guys, Lady Moss Boss in the studio. We're talking about her brand, man. Of course, it's a CMOS. It's a, it's a CMOS product. And it has different flavors, and of course, it comes with all the benefits as well. We, uh, you know, this is something that I really wanted to talk to you guys about because um, she's done a whole lot in the community. She, you can find her everywhere. She's always on the grind, making things happen. And she's taking this brand to a whole different level, guys. But at the same time, you know, this is a product that you guys need to know about, and this is the reason why she's here on the Hidden Gems. I call it the Hidden Gems series for a reason, and that's why she's here. So again, so so what else do we have? We have uh, we have another product here. We have the. Uh, What's this? That's a sea moss. That's sea moss. That's right. what real sea moss. That's so a real sea moss. Not all sea moss is created equal. <laughs> let's okay. talk about that. So let's talk about that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you know, we also have, this is what you see in and around town. Yes. Um, as being sold as sea moss, even in the Caribbean community. And uh, Caribbean people, you know, we know better. Right. Right. This sea moss, it is sea moss because it can grow in water. It can grow in simulated movement mm -hmm. because, you know, sea moss grows in the ocean. The ocean moves. Right. But it is not real sea moss. Um, it doesn't have the nutrients. Sea moss must come from the ocean to give you the nutrients that we tell you that it's going to give you. Sea moss has 92 yeah. of the 102 nutrients our bodies need to function. It has to come from the ocean, period. Right. That's it. <laughs> you know. Right. So the first bottle that you picked up, um, you know, sea moss actually starts off purple. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, uh, 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 again, through, you know, how the universe works, uh, you know, a green piece will be spawned. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now you have green. Right. Um, and then the goal happens by bleaching the purple and bleaching is not a chemical mm -hmm. bleaching is a process that's done by the sun so it's out in the sun you mm -hmm. harvest the sea moss from the ocean from the ocean you put it in the sun uh -huh. and the sun changes the color oh, okay from purple to gold so is it on in, it's on is it, is it in the water or is it dry is it the process is a dry process the process is a drying process okay it's a drying yeah, process yeah, so, okay. so you take it out of the water wet uh -huh. um it's purple and then it's drying, and as it's drying, it's changing the color. So the sun gives the the, the, gold, the gold what's called phytonutrients. You right. know, so phyto sun, and I'm not a biology person. I'm right. not a chemistry person. Don't ask me how that works. Right. I don't know. But the sun gives it these phytonutrients, and the phytonutrients helps the cells communicate with each other. So, did so you, that's how it functions in the body. So did you know, did you know about... Um, the, the, the all of these processes and steps to create the, the, the actual product before you actually got into the system? So I knew that yeah, CMOS starts out purple. Okay. And, you know, change it into into gold. But as I started, you know, in the business, mm -hmm. I learned more from my suppliers because really what I did, I dug deep. Tell me how this works. Right. You know, why? Why it works. Um, you know, what are the benefits, you know? Um, and then, like, like I said, I did more and more, more and more research, and I happen to have the luxury of having a family member who is a doctor in homeopathic Okay. Medicine. And so that's my resource as well, you know, and he, he's always given me different areas where to go research and gotcha. find out okay. and, and learn. I mean, my job is to educate. My job is not really to sell you a product, right. but it's to educate you as to why you need the product. And you do a great job doing that because you people buy the product and you tell them what it is, what, yes. what had the ingredients and everything as well. But also too, not not to, to, to shy away from the actual product, but you actually recently went home yes. and I assume you went home to get yourself more involved into exactly. some of the uh, production. Exactly. And you are from, from St. Vincent. Yes. Okay, so you went to St. Vincent and you have the, you have, uh, the, the well, not the manufacturers, but the, the people who grow yes. CMOS down yes. there as the well. the suppliers, yeah. The suppliers. Mm -hmm. Is that where the CMOS come from? Yes. My CMOS comes from the Grandy. So St. Vincent is made up of mainland St. Vincent and 31 mm -hmm. little islands um, that's called the Grenadines. The Grenadines, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Yes. Right. And so one or two of those Grenadine islands, you know, produce more and more CMOS. Oh, really? And so I feel really good about what I'm doing mm -hmm. because I am able to affect the economy there. Right. For my birth country. Awesome. And, you know, as a small business here in the U.S., mm -hmm. affect the economy here as well. And so it was really important for me to go back to St. Vincent to really see, I mean. To get to the foundation. Yes. Right. You know, and touch and feel it. I mean. Absolutely. I literally, I mean, for my customers, you guys know I love you, my Moss gang. You know I love you because I was on a 19-seater plane looking at the pilot punching buttons and bringing the thing down and 
picking it up. <laughs> <laughs> and when I tell you, I mean, some of you who looked at my social media pages, y'all saw the look on my face. Yes, I was scared. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was scared. Okay. Um, but you went, you but went, I went, but you went to, uh, to get part, to be I a went, part of the I whole spent, process. I spent two days right. you know, with them, you know, mm -hmm. really immersing myself in the whole process of which is how great. it's done, why, yeah. why they do what they do, the method behind the madness. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then not only did I do that, I was on a little dinghy, which couldn't have been more than, I don't know, um, you know, probably as big as your studio table here. Right. You know. <laughs> going, I mean, now that was also scary. So this is a girl from this is an island girl who can't swim. Okay? But, but, but I'm did, not afraid of water. But you made a sacrifice <laughs> yes. because it's part of what you do. Yes. It's your passion as yes. well, right? Yes. Yes. Where, where is where is Lady Mars Boss today? Is it is it available in stores? And what's next for it? So, um, our plan we we're, we're about working on a whole rebranding process. Okay. Um, these bottles are going to go down to sixteen ounces, mm -hmm. and in hopes of uh, getting into specialty stores, so okay. stores like Sprouts and mm -hmm. you know health um, stores, health stores right. like that. Uh -huh. um, it fits better. It also right. um, fits better in um, um, you know those uh, you know. Machines, you know, right. where yeah, you those know, the vending machines vending and stuff machines like that. Anywhere, right. um, you know, I'm working on um, probably collaborating with Hartsfield Jackson Airport, right? To, to get in be the airport as well, preferred vendor, right? And then have healthy options at the airport. Because Absolutely. So many people go through the airport; they don't want Coca Cola. I mean, not anything against Coca Cola, but they don't want that. They right. want something healthy, right? That giving them a lot of electrolytes and things like they that. Need, we need all know? the healthy yes. stuff. We yeah. need that, of course. Um, and then, so currently, my goal for the end of 2023 is to have 10 outlets. Okay. So I am at two farmers market: one in Henry County, one in Ellenwood. Right. My products are there. Um, I am also at a CBD store, okay. another collaboration. So right. a lot of things I do, I, I mean, I sell my stuff online and I sell my stuff at festivals. Right. Yes, you, know, you so do. I, all, I, I you go do a good in job and around it, right. town. Thank right. you. In, in the community. Mm -hmm. But I'm also looking for outlets and collaborations. And so here we are, you know. Absolutely. Um, my recent collaboration was is with a coffee shop in Ellenwood. Okay. Called Mojo Coffee and that's Shop. Ellenwood, Shout that's out. Ellenwood, Georgia. Ellenwood, Georgia. Uh -huh. Shout out to them, Mojo's. Um, mm -hmm. They they have CMOS products on their menu. So right. they do shots and gels and um, beverages and things like that. So mm -hmm. we've worked together. Right. So they are carrying my product exclusively to make their products. One of the things that I know, uh, and this is, and I, I've always asked that question because I know what I've experienced myself when you have when you're building a brand um, like yours. Uh, there's always the, the 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 uphill battle, the challenge that we experience when we have a brand that's professionally done mm -hmm. or professionally built. And uh, what what were some of your experiences? Some of your hardships? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <that>. Yeah. <laughs> Um, just it, you know, it, initially it is, the brand grew so quickly, uh -huh. um, you know, the administrative side of my business has suffered right. and I'm an administrative type, right? right? Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, by trade, I'm, you know, started off being executive assistant, you know, project management, you know, things. So I'm the administrative type. Right, right. right. But. I can't do it for my business. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it, trust <laughs> you know, me. Just, I, I, I know. You know it's, so that's an uphill battle, right. you know, in okay. itself. Right. The other thing is to really find people who are interested. Not They don't have to be interested in CMOS, but they have to be interested in In health, a brand, right. In a, in a brand to and buy health, in yeah. and have um, brand ambassadors. Yes, you right. know, um, I can't grow, I can't scale if I don't have brand ambassadors. Right. Because I can't be everywhere. Right, you know? exactly. Um, I think this year, I think we've done a real good job uh -huh. of being in two places at the same time. Right. You know, um, sometimes three. Right. Um, because I, you know, I'm developing a, a small team of people mm -hmm. who um, really have bought into the brand. It takes a really long yes. time yes. to find these yes. people. Uh, yes. I know. I, yes. it, it, I, I have the same experience here in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. a beautiful studio, yeah. but it's hard to find good people to yes. want to come in and be mm -hmm. a part of it. Mm-hmm. And so, so those are some of the things, and you know, of course, um, you know, 
in order to expand, right, you know, I, not only do I want to be in the Atlanta area, mm-hmm. right, I want to expand outside, outside of, of, the, of the Atlanta Georgia, area. Right. So, you know, doing festivals, mm-hmm. big festivals, and, and kind of picking those the right way. Right. You know, even the festivals here locally. Right. It's hard to figure out, you know, I mean, you ask all the right questions and still sometimes, you know, they're yeah. not the right questions, I right? Know. So, you know, when you, you partner with someone who's doing a festival, have they done this festival before? Mm-hmm. What kind of numbers have they seen right. you know, prior? Is it right. something that people always come to, you know, mm-hmm. because you want you, you know, our business is people. We're in the people business. Absolutely. And so people need to come. So if I do a festival, I need to know that I'm going to have 300 people, right. 500 people, uh-huh. you know, because I cater for that. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Um, if you tell me that you're having 500 people, I'm going to cater for 500, 500 people. people. And then 200 people come and, you know, I already told you my product have an expiration date on yeah, it. Yeah, it's, you know? it's, so, a, it's a huge loss. Yes. <laughs> you know. yeah. so I can only some imagine. Of, some, some of the, the hardships, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and I can mm-hmm. imagine this is, is, is a difficult, and people don't understand that when you go out there, you're already making a huge sacrifice yeah. to be out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, you grind it, man. Yes. This is it's, it's not pleasure, it's yeah. work. Yeah. You know, yes. sitting at the tent, yes. the wind is blowing, yes. you have to make sure the tent don't fly away. Hello. And if the tent don't fly away, you have to make sure the product is sitting <laughs> sit on the in table. The table. Yeah. You know, it's a whole it's a whole process. And a lot of times I'm you know, I'm there by myself. I mean, you know, I'm I see I'm developing muscles uh, you know, day by myself <laughs> setting Kudos my tent to up. You, man. you are you are making it happen, of course. Lady Mars But Mars, we do what we have to you, do. You do what you have to yeah. do. And again, I have to congratulate you on um, the sacrifices you've made uh, into building this product. Because again, I, I, I remember when you first started yeah. and when I look at you now and I look at your social media pages right now and the pictures you've taken, the connections you're making as a result of being out there, yes. I think it's a great look yes. for the brand because now you, you, you're adding fun to health. Yes. A lot of people yes. look at health as health. Yeah. But nobody sees health as a fun yes. thing. And you put the you put the fun in it. You yes. put the videos in there, the laughters yes. and all of the stuff. It's just great. I have to congratulate you and you for the for the for the for the, for the steps you've taken. Thank you. To yep. make this happen so far. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. All right. Yep. Uh, any final words, any final thoughts you want to give uh, to the listeners out there? Well, um, you guys, we you know, we're building this Moss Gang Nation. We have just tons and tons of people, you know, in the Moss Gang Nation. And so you tell a friend to tell a friend um, on Instagram. I am Lady Moss Boss underscore on Facebook. I am Yoli's Meal Prep <coughs> powered by Lady Moss Boss on TikTok. I am Lady Moss Boss and you won't see any dancing from me on TikTok. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, yeah, she still needs brand ambassadors, guys. So make sure you check that out, of course, and of, and, and expand into more stores yes. and all of the good stuff. And guys, also, if you have an event, what is a health food store, a health event or something like that, it doesn't even matter what it is. She's available to come on out to sell that product. I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's fun. It's exciting. It's good. I've sampled quite a bit of it. The only thing I never had is a gel, which I will get as well. I may just grab this bottle here yeah. in the studio. But once again, guys, make sure you log on to the website. Log on to the website at uh, Yoli's Meal Prep. That's Yoli's and it spells Y-O-L-E-E-S Meal Prep. Okay. That's meal, regular meal, M-E-A-L Prep, P-R-E-P dot com. So that's Yoli's Meal Prep dot com. That way you can place your order. Get the classes, get all the details, all of the, the 411, the 411. 411 yep. <laughs> yeah. And you can also log on to ladymossboss.com. I own both. Oh, so, yeah, yes. so you get a Lady Mars, Lady Mars Boss, Boss as well. Yes. Okay, Lady Mars yeah. Boss. And, okay, yeah. this, this is yeah. incredible. Yeah. This is incredible. Mm-hmm. Once again, guys, Lady Mars Boss, she's here. A round of applause to her for making this happen. I am so happy that you finally made it to the studio. Yes. It's been Thanks a long time me. coming. Yes. I, I yeah. told you from since I was building the studio yes. that I was going to yes. get you in here yeah. because, again, I've seen, I've seen the hustle, man. And, you know, a lot of times people overlook us yeah. for what we're doing. Yeah. And not only because we have a brand that we're building professionally, but because they get intimidated because we're building it in such a way mm-hmm. that we we definitely seeing growth. Yes. And they don't want to be associated yeah. with us anymore. But yeah. I want to be associated with people like you. I want to be associated with people like you too. <laughs> <laughs> you <know? laughs> 
<laughs> that's how we build. That's how we grow. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, again, thank you for yeah. stopping by here live on the Ezzy Spotlight Podcast. Hope you had a great time. I did. And I hope I you did. can come back again to see me. I'd love to come back. Absolutely. Yeah. Once again, guys, don't forget, guys, this is where it all happens. If you want to be a guest here on the Ezzy Spotlight Podcast, the Hidden Gem Series, log on to EzzySpotlight.com for more details. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Ezzy Spotlight as well. Follow me on all social medias at Ezzy Spotlight. And don't forget, guys, also... Uh, Lady Moss Boss, thank you again for coming by. Thank you. And uh, I'll see you sometime soon, all right? At some festival around town. There you go. Don't forget, guys, Ezzy Spotlight Podcast is available on all. Ezzy Spotlight is available on all podcast platforms. Tune in today. Tune in today. The Hidden Gem Series showcases the best services. Sign up today at EzzySpotlight.com. And I will see you guys again soon here live on the Ezzy Spotlight Podcast.